I often find myself trying to reflect on my dad's story. In 1988, he crossed the Mexican border, and I asked myself, I wonder what he felt. The fear, the uncertainty, the anxiety. His journey here was just one small sacrifice that he made for my family, my three brothers, and my mother. Once he got here, he continued to make significant sacrifices so that we could have opportunities that he did not have. He often reminded me, Tú lo tienes suave. En Santo Domingo, yo caminaba siete millas para llegar a la escuela y sin zapatos. We laugh at this, but it's the reality of many of our parents. They came to this country not for themselves, but for us, so that we can have better educational opportunities, so that we can have better professional opportunities. And I'm here before you today because of my father's sacrifices. In 2016, I made a very difficult decision of running for office. And not just running for office, but running for office and against an incumbent. I met a lot of people who told me it wasn't possible, that I wouldn't win, who questioned my ability, my intelligence, my drive. But I knocked on doors for nine months, and I talked to voters about the issues that faced our community. And today, I stand before you as the first Latina immigrant state representative in the state. And when I arrived to the State House, I was approached to lead on an issue. I was asked, Juana, would you lead on the Safe Communities Act, a bill that does a couple things. One, it would prevent any form of a registry in the, in the state of Massachusetts. It would also prevent our local and state officials from enforcing immigration laws. Immediately, I said yes. How could I not? I had advisors who said, Juana, you're going to be a freshman legislator and you're going to take on this hot topic that's not wise, it's not prudent. I saw it as an obligation to do justice to my father's story and to do justice to the millions of immigrant stories that exist in the United States. My name is Juana Matias, and this is how I amplify. Woo!